things I shouldn't know. Good morning, Stephanie Kammerman, the Stock Whisperer, here with today's Daily Whisper of the Day. March 1st, you guys. Happy March. Some call it Melancholy March. <laughs> we, uh, we got a new dark pool level on the SPY. A big one, you guys. Ten and a half million. Yep, 437.75. So today we're going to be bullish above 436. Notice I use that as a target. They do like to play print pong. And bearish below 433. We already went down and pretty much came up three cents shy of our first target. So I would be bearish below 432. That is our next level. You can see if we do go below there, there's a lot of room to the downside. We're kind of stuck in the middle here. Yesterday was an inside candle. Will we stay inside again today? Uh, probably not, I would say, but we'll see. Get ready for both directions. All right, let's go to the IWM. Bullish above 203 today and bear below 280 80 cents right there, key level. All right, let's go to the QQQs. All right, the QQQs, we got this trend line right here. Yeah, are we going to close above it today or below it? Let's go zoom in now again. We're going to be bullish above 346.50 and bear below 342.50 for the Qs. Let's head on over to the future. E minis, bullish above 43.65. And bearish below 4320. The NASDAQ futures bullish above 14350. We tagged that 30 simple moving average earlier. So there is room to go if we break above there. All right, that's a key pocket. We always are looking for these pockets. And a bear below 14,000, big level there. But everybody's watching oil. Yeah, we've been trading this like crazy in the Java pit. And we finally, uh, we hit the 100. Ding, 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 ding. Yep. We hit it. Uh, today I was bullish above 125. And by the way, I'm using the April. All right. Light, sweet, crude oil futures from Thinkorswim. Uh, we were bullish above 125 and we just hit R2. All right, or R, yeah, really R2, you know what? Oops, I made a mistake. I put R1, it's R2. All right, so now if we do go above 101.50, we tested it once, yeah, if we do break above, then I can see higher highs. Right now, it looks like they sold, yep, at resistance here. See the volume get bigger here? Yep, that's computers, algos, selling on these pivots, which is why we use them. Bear below 98 for a retracement. Let's check out gold, which was also hot this morning. <clears throat> All right, gold futures. Also using the April futures. Let's see. We pull back a little bit. We're going to be bullish above 1928. Bear below 1898. I went pretty low on the bear side there. And Bitcoin futures, which are hot this morning. Picking up steam well, but we did hit this R1. Or There's definitely some resistance right here, but bullish above 44,500. Uh, next entry, 45,250. All right, that would be my next entry on the long side. Bear below 43,400. I put Mara, that trades with Bitcoin. As soon as I saw that Bitcoin was hot, I jumped right to Mara. Yep, I wanted you guys to catch this trade early if you could. I know a lot of you are trading pre-market. Uh, if not, there's more levels to trade when the market opens, but we were bullish above 27 this morning. We tagged this 50 simple moving average, all right? Really key. That's why I put this right here as a major target. So next major level is uh, 28, all right? Bullish above 27. Eight for Mara. Let's head on over to uh, and bear below 25.80. Lucid, bullish above 26.20, bear below 
5. 25 is a key level. You know, sometimes we do like to retrace up to resistance or we may turn down and head lower. Always looking at the daily chart. Let's go to RSX. Russia ETF. They're below 9. We just triggered that, by the way. Yeah, they might have halted YMDX on us yesterday. That was very sneaky. It's still halted, but guess what? RSX has YMDX in it, so we can still trade it. Uh, surprise, actually, they didn't halt this ETF, but here we go. Bullish above 10. Let's head on over to oil again. XLE this time. 71.50, bullish above. We did go and tag our first target. We went to the last eighth by the way see this high 71.87 on this candle the last eighth is the most expensive eighth according to jesse livermore in 1923 yeah i read about it in the reminiscences of a stock operator by edwin lefevre best trading book out there by the way nothing has changed it's 2022 and we're still going to that last eighth and pulling back which is why I train my traders to get out before 72, get out the last eighth. We are still trading on fractions. So, so cool to see that live. Saved me a lot of money, by the way, like thousands and thousands of dollars over the years, knowing that and getting out just shy. So hopefully I helped you guys also the first eighth, 7.125 on the way down. So bear below 7080. All right, for XLE. Next major level to go long is 71.75, by the way. All right, 71. And notice I put 71.87 right there for a target. All right, let's go to NEO. I have a feeling that uh, Paul might be trading this today in the options boot camp. Today they're kicking off a live trading. Super excited. Uh, bullish above 23.50, bear below 22 for NEO. We'll see if she moves today but in the meantime gold gld we are above are we still above uh maybe not anymore <laughs> we have a lot of dark pull prints here in this area 179.40 and 179.64 which is why i'm bullish above 180 today and bear below 177.50 target oh did i skip Bank of America. I think I skipped BAC. Sorry about that. Yep, skip BAC. We had a big 8 million print on this one. We had a big print on XLF as well yesterday. But this one had a better trade setup today. So bullish above 44.50, bear below 43. It's a day trade, but it's also a swing trade if we close strong above 44.50 or if we close weak below 43. Still watching that 4385. That was a big dark pull print right here. 8 million. It's still in splash mode, but I want you to keep your eye on that. All right, let's go to a Target. Target had earnings. Bullish above 225 today. Bear below 217.50. Is it going to be a gap and go higher or a pop and drop? I want you to watch this. Uh, 15 exponential moving average on a five minute chart. You see this blue dash line? This is so awesome. I love this for the trend trade. All right, at 945 Eastern, write this down, 945, five minute chart, 945. If target can stay above the 15 EMA, it usually goes higher. If it doesn't, it's usually a pop and drop. Nothing is 100%, but I use that along with the whisper levels. So bear below 217.50, bull above 225. I did spot a seller this morning at 226 on the ARCA book. Let's see if he's still there. Um, you know, they do move around small, 2900. I thought it was bigger. Maybe he got smaller. Well, that is the biggest guy on the book. Yeah, just see if he leaves, see if he sells more. But he's definitely uh, sticking out there. All right, let's go to, it's 2900, by the way. Uh, let's go to Apple. 
All right, Apple's been going sideways for a couple days now. Yep. Is it a dreaded H? Is this the rounded top and we go lower, or are we going to move upward here? We have some dark pool activity in this area. Bullish above 166.25, bear below 163. Waiting for a strong close above the 8 EMA or a weak close below 163 for the swing trade. All right, there you have it. Those are your whispers for Tuesday, Tuesday, March 1st. Until next time, happy trading, everybody. My secret